G'day and welcome, I'm Faintly Saintly and today we're looking at a game called Rogue Rollout. Now full disclosure, I did receive a free review copy of this game from Keymailer and the developer Peapod Inc, so thank you guys very much for that. So what is Rogue Rollout? It is a roguelike deck builder based on the dice game similar to Yacht Dice, you know Yahtzee you might know it as, um, but with a, uh, how can I put this, it's obviously like a very flashy presentation. And uh, well, let's just say if you've played a pokey machine or a slot machine, you'll be, um, it'll invoke feelings <laughs> in you. Let's have a look. Uh, so I have had a quick go at this one, but we're just going to start from fresh here. And here's how it looks. Start of the game and in between each round, you choose an artifact, which is like a modifier for your hand. And it seems to alternate between positive and negative ones. So you need to balance and sort of, you know, make your build in a way that's not going to, you know, come back and bite you later when you've uh, taken the wrong negatives or haven't given yourself enough positives. So let's have a look here. So there's a chance to roll a triple on the come out rolls on the first roll, and it increases the amount of times you can play a triple, which is similar to what games are there like, um, oh, Bingle Bingle, I think it was, which is like the roulette one where you can, you know, play the same hand multiple times, but you, you need to increase that. Uh, let's see, anything goes, score is multiplied by 0.2 to 2. Anything goes can be played one additional time. All scores multiplied by 1.5, the amount of times you may re-roll dice is increased by 1. That's actually quite good, because extra re-rolls means you're giving yourself more chances of getting the hands you want. Let's do it. So if you haven't played Yacht Dice or Yahtzee or Poker Dice, it's essentially you roll five dice and you're making things like, which are uh, equivalent to poker hands. You can get like three of a kind. This is obviously a, a, a uh, what do they call it in this one? There's a word for it. I'm not too familiar with it. They do change some of the terminology here. You can get full houses, you get straights, that kind of stuff as well. So anyway, let's get into it in the first round. So similar to other sort of roguelike games that are, adaptations of existing games and board games and things like that you have a required score that you must meet in each round and that score obviously increases exponentially as your multipliers and other effects grow and here are all the available hands see they've all got one remaining it means we can use them all once uh so if i just roll these dice and i mean if you have played the pokies that probably excited you a little bit if you haven't played the pokies or you're not old enough to don't don't do it play games like this these won't ruin your life all right so i've got two fours so i could go about this a couple of ways if i lock this two three four i could build for a straight so i lock those in and i roll the remainders and i didn't get what i was after so i roll again here we go uh two, three, four, five. That's a baby straight because it's four. And I'm going to roll one more time and I'm going to hope that this is either a one or a six. It wasn't, but that's fine. I can put this into a baby straight, get 45 points. Cha-ching, thank you. And then we will move on. So until the next roll. I believe you keep going until you fill up all the gaps and you will get to the point where, you know, you're rolling desperately trying to fill, you might have a a large straight left. Right, that might be the only one you've got left. You'll be desperately trying to get that large straight. And if you don't get it, you have to put whatever you've got in there. And that could be a zero. So that's what you want to avoid. All right, what have we got here? We've got three fours to start with. That's not a bad start. You can see this goes in the four slot here. I could get 18 points for that. But I'll keep rolling. Here we go. We've got another four. I can roll one more time. Three. So four fours. So I've got a couple of options here. I can put them in the four slot. And you'll see the bonus over here. If you get 60 points in these specific rolls, so the one, two, three, four, five, six, you get a bonus of 20 points automatically, which is similar to your dice, Yahtzee, I believe. I also have the choice of putting these in a quadra, which is a four of a kind, basically. Which, you know, why not? I mean, this is a very early, simple level. I only need to get to 100 I'm going to make that easily, so I'm not too concerned. I'm just going to chuck anything anywhere here, because it's going to get me the win. All right, now we're between rounds. And now we need to choose a negative artifact. 
So locked dice have a 10% chance of rolling anyway. That could be disastrous. Playing anything goes. has a 30% chance for the score to be multiplied by zero. Decreases the base score of a quadra by 10. Choices in the shop cannot be refreshed. Oh, as in, I can re-roll these if none of them work for me. I think reducing the base cost of a quadra might be the safest bet here because it's very isolated in, in terms of uh, what its negative effect impacts. So I think I'm comfortable with that for now. So this round, the required score is up to 130. God, that is a satisfying roll. <laughs> uh, we've got some fours. Or should I go for a straight? Three, four, five. Nah, I'm going to stick with the fours. There we go. Four fours. Not bad. I'm going to chuck them here. Okay. Two fives. I'll stick with those, I suppose. Three fives. Four fives. There we go. And you can see this bonus score is slowly ticking up. As I said, I only need 130 in this game, so it's probably not going to be relevant yet, but um, you can sort of see how that works. Uh, I might go for a straight. I'm going to go four, five, six. I could keep the two, but I'd rather guarantee or increase my chances to get a three. Hmm. There we go. Perfect. Large straight. Okay. Not much left needed. So there's a baby straight. I'm going to just do that straight away just to get the win and clear that round. All right. So back to a positive artifact this time. Cannot lock dice, but after two rounds, destroy this artifact and gain the good shoulder. The good shoulder, all scores are multiplied by 2.3. 10% chance of non-zero score submission to gain 2% of the required points. Okay. So that's two rounds of agony. And if you survive those, you do get quite a good artifact. All scores multiply by 1.4. Playing a hand that contains three of a kind has its multiplier cap increased by 75. All scores multiply by 1.7 cannot unlock locked dice, so you can't change your mind if you're building towards a play. All scores multiply by 2. Submitting a 0 results in a loss of 10% of current points. That is high risk, high reward. So all your base scores are just doubled. But if you do have to put up a zero, you lose points. Like it's deducted from your total. I'm going to go for it. So what do we need now? 200. I'm going to go one, two, four. Hope for three. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to just uh, pivot here, just to try and salvage something. There we go. So I've got a double and a triple. So that's also a full house. So I do get something for that. Okay. Save those threes. Could turn this into a straight. Hopefully. No, I can't. But I'll pop it in the twos just to, you know, when you've got junk hands like that, you don't mind putting them down here because you're going to get less points for those anyway. Uh, let's see. Six, five, three. I don't know why I'm pushing for these straights so so much. It's um, risky. Ah, oh, but it paid off, so that's fine. <laughs> I do have this habit of uh, picking an outcome that probably isn't likely and then just gunning for it and risking everything. All right, negative artifact. Can I play a sixes score? That's potentially bad. Potentially very bad. The amount of times you can re-roll is reduced by one. Shouldn't pick this. <laughs> yep. One die loses the ability to lock their roll. Anything go score is multiplied by half. Um, yeah, I suppose you're not winning games off anything goes, are you? That's more of a last ditch effort. I don't mind that, I suppose. 225. I'm going to keep the sixes and roll the rest. 
Oh, beautiful. Four sixes. Not bad. It's going to pop that straight there. And you'll see, even though that's worth 72 with all the multipliers, it was actually 6, 12, 18, 24, which has gone towards this bonus. So it's just the raw dice values of this top row that goes towards that bonus. More sixes. Uh, I might keep the threes this time. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, there we go. Pop that in there. Bonus is up to 36 out of 60. I might go for a straight here. One, two, three, four, five. There it is. Beautiful. Okay. Add two multiply to the currently selected face of the third die. Oh, okay. Interesting. So you can actually apply effects to specific sides of each dice, which is an in, uh, interesting concept. I haven't really played with that or anything like that before. Playing a made hand to anything goes will grant 25% of the hand's base points in addition to the sum. Anything goes can be played one additional time. 1.5 chance to roll a triple on the come out roll. The score of the seventh hand played is multiplied by seven and its multiplier cap is increased by 300. Seventh hand. Mm. Don't mind this. This actually sort of buffs the anything goes one, which we debuffed in the last negative. And a made hand. Is a triple, quadra, penta, straight or full house. So if I have one of those in my bank here and I play and anything goes instead of the, you know, straight, whatever it was. So I get the sum plus 25% of the hands base points and I can play it an additional time. I don't mind that. And that means if I've got a large straight and I spend it, then I get another one, I can still benefit from it. Uh, no, I'll keep the fives. Beautiful. One more. That'll do. Two, three, four, five, six is a large straight. I didn't really need to lock those, did I? Okay, four, five, six. Three, there's a baby straight. Two, three, four, five, six is another large straight. So if I put that in anything goes, what's that going to look like? Okay, wasn't as uh, impressive as I thought it was. I think that half multiply from the negative artifact is uh, killing that. 25% of the hand's base points in addition to the sum. Okay. So not terrible, but I wouldn't rely on it, I suppose. Um, we do have a baby straight. I'm just going to pop that straight in. So these other rounds are where you want to do that kind of experimentation just to figure out how things are going to benefit you. Choices in the shop can't be refreshed. Anything goes, 30% chance to multiply by zero. Decreases the base score of all straights by 10. Mm. Now these stack. So if I get another garbage collection, anything goes is going to be basically useless, I'm sure. Or this will make it just have a 30% chance of being useless. Why not? Maybe regret that. We'll, we'll see. Uh, I've got a baby stray. One, two, three, four. I'll take it. Uh, I'll stick with the fours. Not bad. Okay. One, two, four, five. Interesting. Yeah, oh, that worked out. <laughs> Keep the twos. Keep the five. So I haven't done that yet, have I? Nope. Did 
that extra roll is so good. Oh, I think I might keep the sixes. So I could put them in for a quadra as well. But I'll do that. And that actually pushes me over the limit, so I unlock the bonus. And, you know, again, early days, it's not too important, but it is nice to have. All scores multiply by 1 plus 0.2x, where x is the number of odd dice played. 2% chance to roll full house on the come out roll. And it can be played an additional time. Unlocking the bonus grants an additional 5% points. The number of pips required to unlock the bonus decreases by 5. That's interesting. I like both of these, actually. This makes the bonus more attainable and more profitable. Don't mind that at all. Oh yeah, so you see it's only needing uh, 55 points rather than the 60. Uh, what have we got? Baby straight, might get a two, hopefully. Thank you very much. Keep the fives. Might look to get for this bonus again. Uh, well, that's not great, is it? I think you want at least three before you start putting them down here, so I'm just going to waste it on the twos, which is just, you know, a little profit, but I'd rather get a good fives roll. Actually, that could be full house. Yeah, I might just do that, just to get the safe safety of guaranteed points. Uh, what have I got here? Fours. Not bad. 11 more to get the bonus. Let's go for the ones, I guess. Could get a quadra. Well, this is unfortunate. bonus and got me over the line no dramas all right negative time playing a triple has a 30 percent chance for the score to be multiplied by zero bonus score is multiplied by 0.75 the number of pips required to unlock the bonus increases by five uh can i see what artifacts i have there we go So that kind of offsets my bigger, better bonus here, almost directly. Artifacts are chosen at random, sounds horrible. Playing full house is 30% chance for the score to be multiplied by zero. My issue with those that multiple that have a chance to multiply by zero is that tread carefully will trigger from that. And I didn't think of that when I actually picked this one, so that's actually concerning. Maybe, maybe I'll just go for this. Offsets the last bonus one, but won't devastate me. Uh, get some ones happening. Going to pivot straight to fives. I wonder. Go for a full house. Not so. Um, might as well chuck it anything goes. Okay, large straight. Take that straight away. Thank you. Keep my fives. And the potential for a straight there. That's unfortunate. Chuck it anything goes. That's the old garbage pile over here. Actually, no. I'm going to keep these fours. 
perfect. So I can get a Penta, which is, you know, in Yahtzee, I think that's what you call a Yahtzee, which is five of the same. And a decent amount of points. Load up on these sixes, keep them coming. So it's one of those things that is just so simple, but the satisfying motion of this, like, sort of triggering from the days when I used to play the pokies, all the slot machines. Which again, terrible idea, don't do it, don't recommend it. Play games that don't cost you real money and you'll be much happier. Uh, I'm gonna go two, three, four. Try and get a little straight here. Perfect. All right, got some twos. Plenty of twos. Just gonna hope for some more fives. And that got the job done. Okay, positive artifact. 2% chance to roll a large straight on the come out roll. Roll a triple quadra on the come out roll. All scores multiplied by 1.4 add two emblems to random dice faces. Playing a hand with emblems increases the emblem count. At two emblems, the next hand score has its multiplier cap increased by 250. Interesting. Or all scores multiplied by 1.4, quadra can be played one additional time. I like this one. There you go, emblems. At two emblems, the next hand score has its multiplier cap increased. How do I see my multiplier cap? They kept at 500 by default, but can be increased. Okay. Uh, let's go. Oh, wonderful. Do I go the Penta or do I go for the bonus? Go for the bonus, it's going to make it very attainable. March straight, thank you. Give me that four. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> we got the bonus already. Might as well aim for the twos. What luck am I having here? Anyway, that hits the bonus for me as well. Nice chunk of points there. Baby straight, thank you. What can I aim for here? Threes. Pentaquadra triple. There's my triple. There's my quadra. Done. Getting a little closer though, isn't it? I'm using up more of my hands to reach that target score, so I need to be mindful of that. Um, the submitted score is multiplied by one negative one minus point zero five x, where x is the number of copies of ticking time bomb. Okay. All straights. Playing a hand that contains exactly three sixes multiplies the score by 0.3. Caps the score at 3,000. Decreases the base score of a quadra. We've already got that, so I might as well double it. And go for the fours. I'll have to go for a full house. I'll stick with the fours. Fine with me. Uh, four, five, six, or maybe. 
I'm gonna go the triple. <laughs> Just slap it down there. Probably a bad idea. I probably need to save those for when other plans fall through. So I'm just hoping for a two here. Get a large straight. Thank you. Get some ones on the board. Why not? Take the straight, no problem. Stock up some fives, hopefully. Not the best. I've used up all my uh, Penta luck from that previous round where I got three or four, I guess. Interesting. So Quadra was the one that uh, has a negative base score. So I'm just wondering whether it's worth aiming for that. Probably not. I'm going to freeze the three and just go for some threes. Try and hit this bonus. I think I've just hit it, actually. I only needed eight points. Perfect. Five, five, five. Oh. Oh. Alright, that 10% chance of anything goes to be multiplied by zero just kicked in, which means I got nothing for that roll and actually lost uh, how many points? 10% of my current points. So that's lovely. And that's where things that uh, you find they come back to bite you. What am I looking for here? Don't really know. A quadra. It's weak, but it's something. Try and chuck some twos down, I suppose. So Penta or Full House or anything goes. So I think I am in a bit of danger here because anything goes is a chance to just be nothing. So I just need a two or a three here, please. Two or a three. There we go, Full House. Got lucky, got lucky. The score of the last hand played is multiplied by 7 and has its multiplier cap increased by 300. And a negative 5 to 5 multiplied to a random dice's face. All scores multiplied by 2. The number of choices in the shop are reduced to 2. They cannot be refreshed. 2% chance to roll a quadra on come out roll. No, quadras are my weakness, aren't they? Thanks to the pizza. This is a gamble. So immediate impact is scores multiplied by two, which is great. But I could be stuck with some really nasty cursed artifacts. Risk reward, hey? I need 1150. Save the baby straight. See if I can luck into a large straight while I'm here. I can. Sticking with the twos. It's looking good. Fine. Oh. Full house. Take that off the bat, no dramas. Give me some fives. Or screw me, that's fine too. Uh, oof. Chuck the triple down. I'm just going to keep those and see what comes up next. 
<laughs> one of each. Uh, I'll go the fours. Less risk then. I think. Okay. Really need some kind rolls here. That'll do, I suppose. Um, threes. I saw the baby straight up my sleeve too, don't I? Two, three, four. I need a one or a five. There's the one. There's the five. That's all right. Got through. Now let's see what. Oh, hang on. The number of choices in the shop are reduced to two. It cannot be refreshed. Maybe that doesn't count. Oh, sorry, yes it does, because these have an extra room, I can't pick them. Cannot play a sixes score or dice have a 10% chance of rolling anyway when locked. Both absolutely terrible. Cannot be refreshed. And this is exactly what I feared. I'd be stuck with something devastating. <laughs> um, I think I need my sixes score because the bonus is still desirable. I have to go for this, which is going to be a nightmare. I can see already. Chuck that one down. Six, five, four. I'll pivot to fives, I think. Hmm. Aim for a full house. Damn. Anything goes. All right, didn't screw me over. That's good. Uh, what have we got? Threes. So that thing hasn't screwed me over yet. That'll unlock my dice. So that's fine. Uh, I go for fives. Pretty good. Go for sixes, absolutely. Oh, thank you very much. There's my bonus as well. Good hit. Now I need fours and ones here. May as well just lock a four. Go for the triple. Ah, uh, there it goes. And I'll pivot, I'll stick with it. That's fine. Worked out in the end, thankfully. Um, might as well get some fours going. Or a straight, perhaps. Damn you. That's right, worked out. Hmm, so nothing is certain anymore. Add two multiplier to the currently selected dice of the fourth, sorry, selected face of the fourth die. Your all scores are multiplied by 1 plus 0.7 X, where X is the number of rerolls remaining. Hmm. That's just quick points, isn't it? Just a free free multiplier bonus, which is not a bad thing. Come on, give me some fours. There we go. Full house, maybe? You bastard. Oh, worked out. <laughs> okay, I'll take that. Uh, one, two, three. Four. Five. Thank you. One, two, three. There we go. Coming together nicely. Um, let's see. Three, three, three. 
Bugger. That's right, I need 130, so I should be comfortable. Here we go. Add a negative 5 multiplier, sorry, negative 0.5 multiplier to one side of a dice. The bonus score is multiplied by 0.75. The number of pips required to unlock the bonus increases by 5. So that's just going to cripple that completely. Hate both of these. Yeah, that's nasty. I'm only on round 14 out of 42. So I'm thinking you must need to get some good combination of uh, artifacts to really get your multiplier sky high to last that long. Nah. That's just bloody rude. Oh god. Just awful. Take that. Full house, I'll take that. Hope for a two. Oh. Lost two dice that time. And I'm left with garbage. Go for the ones, maybe. <laughs> Go for the sixes, maybe. Fine. That's right, the bonus is attainable. Just need one more of anything, really. That'll do it. And then... Get some fives happening. Chuck them in the triple just to get the win. Round clear. All scores multiplied by 1.5. Playing a hand that contains a four of a kind has its multiplier cap increased by 100. Or 2% chance to roll a full house on the come out roll. I'll just keep getting these multipliers up, I suppose. Just raw score. Okay, three ones. Ah, lost one. That's fine. Three, four, potential for a straight. Two, three, four, five. There we go. It always makes me nervous now because I know that any roll can just be taken away from me at any time if I depend on these locked dice. So I'm going to take to just put them straight down, I think, if they're there. Playing a quadra has a 30% chance for the score to be multiplied by zero, or can I play one's score? Quadra's already useless. May as well keep them useless. I mean, the ones are pretty useless as well, but they're a good place to dump her crappy hand. Three, four, five. Not anymore. <laughs> All right, redeemed. That's good. Oh, that's right, I got my four back. Oh, lost that one though. I've oh, got this one back. What a roller coaster. 
Uh, keep the fives. Yeah, I'm not even going to risk a roll. Come on, give me some sixes, will you? You know what? I'm pivoting. I'm not going to waste my sixes on a potentially bad roll there. Uh... <laughs> I'm just going to chuck it there. I'm not even going to bother. Uh, let's see. Four, five, four, five. Full house, maybe? Damn it. Okay, so that one actually cost me points, that roll. Keep my sixes. Just gonna get this bonus. Taking it. Taking it. Okay, one, two, three. Baby straight, thank you. One, two, three, four. Give me a five. Thank you. It's nice when it does what, it, what it's uh, asked. Okay. Add two multiplier to the currently selected die face of the fourth dice. That'll actually override that 0.5. Or all scores multiply by 1.5 and 1.5% chance to roll a Penta on the comment roll. Well, Penta is useless. Oh no, Penta. Penta's a good one. It's Quadro that's the bad one, isn't it, for me? Quadro's 10, yeah. Uh, oh, both sound good. I have to go that one. Just realized I'm very lucky. I was smashing this button here to refresh the shop by accident, thinking that I was pushing this button. Um, but thankfully that is disabled from one of my cards. So I didn't just ruin this for myself, so it's good. All right, up to around 17. I need 4,000 points. It's getting a bit scary. Taking that. Two, three, five. Give me a four. Thank you. And a one. Thank you. Baby straight, thank you. Just taking that one right away. Nice. Cannot play a Penta score. Decreases the base score of a Penta by 16. I'd rather be able to play it and get less score than not be able to play it at all. What is this? Ah. Okay. That was my Penta Perfection. I mean, I'm going to put it there. It sounds a bit silly. It's a bit less points, but closer to the bonus, right? One, two, three. Really? Full house, take it. Five, five, five. Take it. I need four points left for the bonus here. Uh, actually, which I can get easily with the threes. Done. Smashed it. Up to 19 now. All scores multiplied by two. Two dice lose their ability to lock. Cannot lock dice up to two rounds. Oh, see, that's going to be devastating to me right now. This isn't great either. Lose the ability to lock. Both are just going to kill me, I think. Oh, I need one. Okay. Two rounds of not locking. I don't think I can survive that. Hmm. 
this is the uh, the crossroads here. I'm going to pick it. I'm going to regret it. But hey, if it comes off, I'll be laughing, right? So no locking at all. Large straight. <laughs> off the bat. Thank you. Uh, full house. Thank you. Take the fours. Baby straight. Oh my god. <laughs> that was incredibly lucky. Who needs locking dice, eh? Can I play a four score? Uh, or kill Penta. Alright, Penta's going to be useless, but I need to keep my fours, absolutely. Full house. Ah, see? Good call. Uh, what have we got? Large straight. Might actually pull this off. So the good shoulder. All scores multiply by 2.3. 10% chance of non-zero score submission to gain 2% of the required points. That's potentially great. All scores multiply by 1.7. Cannot unlock lock dice. All scores multiply by 1.5. The face-up value of the loaded die when the round begins is more likely to roll. The face-up value of the loaded die when round begins is more likely to roll. Cannot unlock locked dice. That really. I guess this then. So that's my loaded dice. Starts with a five. That's going to be more likely to roll in the first turn. Is my understanding. I'm straight for the triple. Anything goes. Fives. Oh, I can lock cards again. I mean, dice. <laughs> I was just... Forgot that minor detail after that last round. <laughs> oh, boy. I mean, it was paying off. Maybe straight. Thank you. Can I play a sixes? Decreases the base... Of the full house by seven. Have to go like that. I'm not giving up those sixes. Ah, oh, knew that would happen. <laughs> Bloody hell. Uh, I don't care if you take my score, I've got none to lose. Uh, I'm just going to take that. That's fine, I guess. One more five. Don't lose one, come on. Bonus is going to be challenging this time around, I think. <laughs> okay. Thank you for that. Although, oh no, I only need 10. That's attainable. 4, 5, 6. Give me one more four. Thank you. There's our bonus. Six five. Hmm. Aim for a triple, maybe.
there to roll. Take that any day. All scores multiplied by 1.4. Add two emblems to random dice bases. All scores multiplied by 1.4. Rare artifacts are a few more often. Two emblems. What do the emblems do again? Playing a hand with emblems increases the emblem count. At two emblems, the next hand score has its multiplier cap increased by 215. Rare artifacts appear more often could be really good, but it could also put them over here, I assume, where I can't pick them, so that may not help me. I'll get charging up. More emblems, I guess, just increases my scoring capacity. Going for the triple. $8,000 <laughs> points off the bat. There you go. <laughs> Easy wins. Uh, decrease the base rebel straights. Locked dice have 10% chance of roll. Oh, that's going to double that. That's going to stack. Oh, I hate that. I hate both of these. So large straight's gone from, what, 8,000 odd to 6,000 odd? Stuff it. Oh, good shoulder saved me there. So there's a 10% chance to get zero, and then that was a 10% chance on top of that to negate that zero. Okay, I'll take that any day. Oops. Uh, come on, give me some sixes. Give me a... F uh. All right, baby straight. <laughs> Fell into that one. Keep some fours. That's a weighted dice, and that's also got a uh, emblem. Definitely taking that. All right, we're up to around 25. Considering we're at 14 when I thought we were over, <laughs> I think that's doing all right. Deuce never loses. All scores multiplied by 1 plus 0.5x, where x is the number of twos played. All scores multiplied by 1 plus 0.08x, where x is the number of dice rolled this turn. Sure. Uh, tch -tch -tch. 2, 3, 4. I'm going to keep this 4. No, I'm not. Same. So <laughs> I just want it straight, guys. Come on. Thank you. Wait, what was that? Two percent chance on non-zero score submission to gain two percent. Ah, chance of a non-zero score submission, not a zero score submission. Okay, gotcha. Misunderstood that card. Okay. So it seems like just going for raw multiplier is just getting me through here, which is brute forcing it. On every score submission, there's a 10% chance the submitted score is multiplied by 0.5. Or I kind of play a one score. That sounds. Mm, I hate them both, but I'll sacrifice my ones. Uh, let's see, three, four, five. Large straight, fourteen thousand done. It's gonna be ridiculous. Full house can be played one additional time. Full house containing twos or fours is multiplied by four. Add two multipliers to the currently selected face of the fifth dice. Now, didn't I have something here about full houses? Decrease the base score. I think it doesn't hurt to have an extra extra full house to play though. Might get one 
right now. Might not as well. Ah, <laughs> oh, stop it. Come on. Didn't get it anyway. Anything goes. Yep, give me zero. I don't care. <laughs> Give me some sixes. Uh, four, five. No. God damn. Total pivot. Paid off. <laughs> four, four, three, three. Give me a full house. Never mind. Ten thousand dollar triple. Four, four. No, I don't want fours. I want a large straight. Oh my god. It's just not meant to happen, is it? Uh, um, I guess I'll aim for some threes. Wonderful. God, just cannot plan for anything at the moment. I'm just going to chuck it there and get the win and move on from that train wreck. Decreases the base score of all straights. The amount of times you may re-roll is reduced by one. That's horrible. Oh well, it's lucky I can't seem to get a straight because they'll be dropping in value by the minute. Oh, stop it. Full house. So what did that do? That turned 9 into a 9-6. Okay. Money for nothing. Got some 3s happening. Full house, maybe? Maybe not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bloody dumpster. For things that are 1 in 10 chance, I'm seeing a lot of them. <laughs> I know how statistics works. house again. Done. Just going to chuck them straight in. Hmm. All scores multiply by 1 plus 0.2x where x is the number of odd dice or all scores multiply by 2 Add a hex to each die. Playing a hand with hexes increases the hex counter. Three hexes, the next hand score is multiplied by 0.2. That's bad. No, thank you. $10,000 triple right there. Baby straight. Just give me a... Uh, God damn. Boo. Um, four, five, six. Nope. Oh. <laughs> so the only straights I can really get at this stage are just ones that roll naturally without me depending on locked dice. I think that's how I'm going to have to start playing. Then again. Ah, yep. Right on cue to ruin it. Luckily, snuck on in. Just awful. Thankfully, we're only $3,000 off the target, so it's not going to be the end of the world. 
But one day it will be. <laughs> and I'll be upset. Okay. Multiply on one side of a die set to point one. Decrease base score of a full house by seven. Both terrible. So we're up to round 30. I just realized we've ticked over the one hour mark, which is ridiculous. So hopefully this is um, entertaining enough to watch for a whole whole bloody hour. Doesn't seem to be a whole lot going on on the screen, but it's just this, uh, you know, the game of chance, which um, when you're playing it, it certainly keeps things interesting. A triple. So if you want to uh, scratch your gambling itch vicariously through someone else where there is no risk of losing your money and ruining your life, then I hope I am providing that service to you. Why am I looking at fours? Silly. Can't do it again though. Go for a quadra or a full house. So I'm trying to pick up the pace here. For the sake of everybody's time. Take that. All scores multiplied by two. Yes. Two, three, four, five. Baby straight was taking it. Nothing here. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, three, four, five, six. Please be kind. Thank you. A little bit of manners goes a long way. Perfect. Base score of full house. One die loses the ability to lock. See you, full house. Taking that one. Thank you very much. Three, four, five, six. Stick with the fives. Gonna actually chuck that in the twos. After all that, uh, stick with the three. No, pivot to fives. Full house. Nope, three it is. So if I want this bonus, we're going to need some strong hands here. That'll do. Can I get this straight? Can I? Can I? Can I? No. Anything goes, that'll do. Get me over the line. Okay, anything goes, score is multiplied by 0.2 to 2. Anything goes can be played one additional time. 
So that could be really good, could be really bad. I'm not tempting fate anymore with that. Just some sixes. I'm gonna get those threes out actually. Six five. Pivot to the fives, could do worse. Three four five. Give me a quadra. <sighs> Give me nothing. Okay. Yeah, things are getting hairy again. What do we need? Sixes? Twos? That'll do it. The amount of times you may re-roll is reduced, decreases the base score of all straights. God damn. <laughs> four for four. Going straight for the triple. Four for four again. I knew that was gonna happen. Uh, anything goes. Get that out of here. Okay, that's okay. Three fives, as long as they stay there. Fine. Pivot to the fours. Nope, never mind. <laughs> Go for a full house, maybe. Nope, never mind. Chuck it in the garbage pile. Move on. Give us another four, will you? Ooh. That anything goes is actually really tempting, even though it could be disastrous. No, oh, no, didn't take it away from me. That's a bonus. Another full house. Chucking in the threes. Uh, keep that six. We're due for some sixes, surely. Yeah, see? Told ya. 2% chance to roll a Penta on come out roll. Penta can be played one additional time. All scores multiplied by two, submitting a zero result, loss of 10% of current points. Have to do it. Have to do it. Uh, Alright. So basically, we're leaning away from the penters, leaning away from the straights, the full houses, focusing on these bonus ones. Seems to be the money maker. That hurts. Um, that's crap. It's gonna go anything goes. Ten thousand points. Thank you. Five five. terrible. There's one thing I would take back, it is that 10% chance for locked dice to roll. It's 
causing me a lot of grief. Take that. Decrease base score of Penta. Triple has 30% chance for multiply by zero. No, thank you. Actually, let's go straight for the triple. We're so close to the end. Thirty-six out of forty-two here. Give me some sixes. Screw you, pal. Yeah, yeah, don't care. Triple fives. Down to double fives. <laughs> Oh man. Have to take that, I suppose. What am I missing with my straights here? Three, four, five, six. Is it just that they're worth nothing now? I think I'm missing something. Maybe I forgot about an artifact's effect. Keep the six. Nope, no, I won't. Okay. Now we're threes. No, we're not. <laughs> Jesus. Whatever. Get some twos happening, maybe? I need three sixes here. Ah, oh, perfect. Got that bonus. Got me over the line. Beautiful. Take the 1.4 multiplication, thank you. Three, three. Yeah, I need to look into what is going on with those straights there, but anyway. That's annoying. Some force happening. That'll do. Go for that triple, easy seventeen thousand. Okay. Twenty four out of sixty can be done. With some luck, which I don't have. Nope, I certainly don't. Come on, five rounds to go. Be kind. Okay, that's pretty kind. I need three fives to get the bonus. There it is. And little anything goes just to top it off. Playing a hand that contains exactly two ones multiplies the score by 0.1. Get out of here. We're decreasing the base score of a quadra. Great for the triple. Four, four, four. Take that. That's a shame. Anything goes. Could have seen that coming.
Couple of fives. Perfect. So it is hard to believe I've been here for well over an hour now, and I'm not bored. So as simple as this game looks, if it is appealing to you, <laughs> it will grab you. And it's a perfect kind of background sort of noise game if you're watching something on the screen or something like that. Doing something else, just sits in the background, keeps you busy. It's basically it's basically like TikTok brain poison. Which I know is what we're all really looking for. God, I'm just gonna chuck that there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really want this bonus though. Thirteen thousand sitting there for me. Unfortunately, cannot seem to roll a six. Okay, there's two. Give me one more. Thanks. Oof, now what though? This is scary. Yep, so when I have to put those zeros in, that's when I start losing score. Um, shit. I'm boned. Alright, I think this is the end of the run after all this time. Round 38 out of 42. Oh, hang on. A 1200 point penta. Dear Lord. Oh well, we uh, certainly got a lot further than I expected. Remember, yeah, I think it was early on, about 14 rounds or something in, I was thinking, uh, not happening. And then we pushed through, got some good multipliers going. Dealt with our cursed artifacts pretty well, but uh, all comes to a head here. Game over. After all that. But... What an addictive little game. If this is something that you would enjoy, or if that's sort of uh, triggering some uh, dopamine release in that brain of yours, then check it out. It's called Rogue Rollout. This is a preview copy, but you can jump on Steam and check out the demo. I'll put a link to that in the description below. If you're interested, you can pop it on your wish list as well. The full game is out on 12th of November. So thank you again for watching. If you want like this and want to see more, I do cover lots of indie games, roguelikes, VR games, and things like that. So Subscribe and you can stay in the loop when I drop new videos. And if you have any game suggestions, let me know in the comments below. Always looking for new and upcoming games to play. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.